Hey, yeah, Jesus. Hmm. What the fuck is going on? In, it's going on in the US. Have you seen this stuff? It's out of control. I, mean, I, don't, I don't get it. What is, what is there in the US's history of genocidal dispossession of its original inhabitants and more than two centuries of wealth built up on the back of, of slavery and then uh, post-slavery terror to ensure that black people stay second-class citizens and then use of that racism to divide a working class that's been subjected to ever-worsening levels uh, of anti-union terror while the US becomes more and more of a global imperial power using ever-worsening violence overseas against largely non-white people uh, to impose its interests you know, and then at the, the defeat of fascism in World War II when African Americans start to s demand that they be treated as first class citizens a new reign of terror is unleashed and you see the murdering of black activists and black leaders and to such an extent that dozens of activists in the Black Panther Party are assassinated and then the war on drugs is introduced targeting largely uh, impoverished black communities, so you see the mass incarceration of people in largely private prisons to such an extent that today a black young man is more likely to be in, in jail than he is in, in college. All the while the end of post-World War II prosperity sees dramatic increase in inequality disproportionately affecting people of colour but affecting the entirety of the US working classes as a massive transfer of wealth to the billionaires and the corporate elite and all the while the state violence is ramped up against people of colour and more black people die at the hands of police and then in the name of the war on terror and racist rhetoric you see a ramping up of attacks on civil liberties uh, and the, all these federal agencies just grow in resources and power entirely unchecked and there are new wars for resources in which often you see people of color fighting it because they're basically economically conscripted because there's no other way out of the the poor communities from which they grew up in and then a new economic crisis hits and you see mass home foreclosures and yet further transfer of wealth to the billionaire class all the while more black people are being killed by by uh, police uh, for who never prosecuted or even punished for these uh, crimes attacks on human rights and you see the ramping up of a terror machinery against migrant communities whose very labor underpins the entire u.s economy and you see such extreme things as the separation of families and children in cages and you have an electoral system so fundamentally corrupt and undemocratic and controlled by the corporate elite that any possibility of a pro-people alternative is just squeezed out and it's so degenerate and it leads to an white supremacist orange buffoon in the White House who ramps up white supremacy and, and justifies police violence as yet more black people die. I mean, what in any of this? In any of this is there to suggest that this was coming? I mean, talk about blindsided. And I mean, just, I just thank God really that we don't have don't any of these issues in this country, you know, like none. So, was, was that was that was that in a voice that David Gundy, what the thirty-two-year-old Aboriginal man who was shot dead by police in his own home in Marrickville, despite committing absolutely no crime for which the police afterwards were cleared of any wrongdoing, what's that got to do with this? You know what what? TJ Hickey, what, the 17 year old black kid, he was chased to his death by white cops after which there was intense scenes of street fighting in Redfern that where largely Aboriginal youth drove off the cops for hours and torched multiple police cars. What, what, da David Dungay Jr., what, the, the, the guy in 2015 who, who was strangled to death by police guards in Long Bay Jail while he repeatedly said the words I can't breathe 16 times in a row very much like Eric Garner and George Floyd yeah all right all right in a voice you got a fucking point fuck it hell yeah I get it fuck the race the rate of incarceration of Aboriginal people in this country since 1990 is doubled I know 400, 
437 deaths of police in custody ever since the 1991 Royal Commission was supposed to end it. Yeah, like, okay, for fuck's sake. I get it. Can we, can we at least get another beer? We can, yeah. Fucking glad we agree on something. Fuck. Alright. I'll say another beer.